Oh, that was an adorable yell. Treasure, 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 treasure. Yeah, see? It even has horns. Obtained a sleek stone. Now, is this going to be a key item just for getting through? Yeah, it is. No, thank you, sweetie. Probably should heal, shouldn't I? I only have six potions. Okay. Do I have a new marriage jewel? No. Oh, I just didn't go over the spots. Gotcha. <coughs> See a sleek stone reflected in its eye. Give it the sleek stone. Yes. Jump down and get this treasure. A potion. Come back and get that one though. How? Anthony is going to right, work on your channel avatar this. next Here week. We go. Well, I will also be working with him next week on the other project we discussed this morning with Justin Storm. Yeah, no, that works, Savvy. Tell him I appreciate it. Ooh, what is that? Floating eye. Let's get everything else out of the way first. Because oh, is he berserked? <coughs> That's not good. <coughs> Wonder if that's berserk or confused. <coughs> oh, it's confused. That is not good. I don't have anybody with a cure yet. Although I have Whisper Wind. I don't need a little bit of courage. Oh shit. This is it! God damn it, you need to stop with the fucking fox fire! Presentunity. Come on, just give me one of my people back. I've got this. Oh, oh god. I'm gonna end up killing myself. Yep, see, there we go. Okay. Let's just imprison this guy. No, don't move. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Does anybody want the Araman or the floating eye? That wasn't so bad. All the level ups. Now, are they dead dead, or are they come back with one HP? Is 
Anybody? Flood guy. Hey, Jericky. Gonna try and start that tip chain again. <laughs> the floating eye for now. Maybe if enough people are streaming. Well, right now, Jericky, it's only me streaming. <clears throat> okay, I want to get to that chest. Oh, that's right, I want to go. Okay, I need to use a potion. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so if we go up here... Oh, that leads out. I don't want out yet. Treasure chests are a calling. Oh, you know what? Stack set up. We'll give you the floating eye. And we'll give you the copper gnome. <coughs> No, I know, Savvy. I have to go around to get it, though. Oh, thanks, Storm, and thank you, everyone else watching. This is one of the first times I've hit uh, double digits. Are you kidding me? Preemptive well, strike. Can stack too? Yep. You're not the only ones who get way the stronger when you're piled up. Well, you're going to be weak to fire. Afraid the soul. Which means somebody needs to stop underestimating the enemy before he defines himself up to his neck and some... Okay. At least he knows the warning's meant for him. <clears throat> yeah, really, though. Yeah! Try destabilizing my stack, will ya? See how you hold up against Channel Dark. Come on! Watch this! Yeah! Critical hit. Nice. Well, that ought Predictable. to do it. Okay. Couple more battles and I'll take a look at everyone's Mirage boards. Yeah, Savvy, I had to come all the way back here to be able to get that chest. Three potions! Oh, thank goodness. <clears throat> First thing I'm gonna do is save up for... a hundred potions. Yeah, more preemptive strikes. That must be giving me... I must be getting that from, uh... From one of the monsters. So we'll whisper into you again. And we're gonna fox fire. Take this! Uh, just a basic attack could do it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah! All the level ups ever. <laughs> Alright, now I can come up here. Before I go in here, though, 
I'm gonna do the Mirage Board thing. Alright, Savvy, you're gonna learn Cure. Eventually, I think. Or maybe you're... Oh, you have Enhanced Cure. Do you actually learn the Cure spell, though? Oh, apparently not. You do learn Renew, which is excellent. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get Agility Plus. Don't have enough for Subdue, though. Tama. Uh, you have three. Oh, I need four for Cure. So I'm gonna save that. So I definitely want Cure. Copper Gnome has five. <coughs> so throw stone, inflict physical earth damage, topple strength medium. Protect accuracy plus. But accuracy plus for now. You did just see Tickle, and you know what? I'm going to go back to see what it does. The savvy learns Tickle. <clears throat> tickle. Inflict neutral magical damage. Topple strength high. <clears throat> As someone who's very ticklish, that sounds like a very terrifying spell. That is hilarious, Savvy. That's why you're my favorite. Okay. Floating Eye. You have four. Hypnosis inflicts sleep. Okay, so I'll start by getting Hypnosis, and then I'll get Flutter, because I'm curious. Tony, be good, or you're getting lost. Tony needs four for cure. I don't want to do a blank space yet. <clears throat> I'll moo. Punch. High topple strength. Also stroll, but I want punch. Mandragora. Tickle is a creepy moving Pokemon. Yeah, it is. Uh, Mandragora. Stroll. So I have to start with Stroll. Now you have four more. Two for Leaf Dagger. Yes, because Leaf Dagger is awesome. And now you have two left. Which means I can't get anything else yet. Whoa, what was that? Oh, Mandragora Prism. And mini golem. <clears throat> Start by learning body slam, that's useful. And you have blank space. Strength. So I think I'm gonna get blank space. There. That's everyone's mirage boards. So I'm gonna go through. Oops. Empty out my tip jar. Let's continue on. Does this one have a save point? No. That's weird that it only has there. I never understood tickling people. I was ticklish when I was younger, but now it's just annoying. Hypersensitivity to touch mainly rates makes it really obnoxious. Yeah, I can understand that, Red. Savvy, do you want to do an explanation point follow as well? this for it's a strange switch that the response to mirages the mirages who imprison the inside these caves should be able to help you out thank you savvy those puzzling puzzle switches puzzle switches like the ones you see here respond to the mirages you stack on top of them you'll need to use mirages with the right combined weight and elemental resistance to solve them but once you do, the switches will trigger changes in the environment to help you proceed. 
Most switches can be solved using mirages that lurk nearby, so if you find yourself stuck, try hunting around some in the same dungeon for a few new mirages. Okay, so this one needs a weight of 5 or greater and earth resistance of 50 or greater. Now, hopefully that's going to tell me how it's measured. So if I go to medium, do the copper gnome. Weight of 5, earth resistance of 50 or greater. So him by himself will do it. Activate. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> really makes you think. A new path. Check out that switchcraft. Oh good god. Yep. Now we know switch way to the go. Oh shit, they're teaming Whichever up. one of you thinks you're being clever is about to get a knuckle sand switch. Oh for fuck's sake. Oh, did did I just get owned? <clears throat> Raising the white flag here, too. <laughs> Over here. So, this is obviously something that needs to be done. So, this one needs five or greater earth resistance of 75. So, if I do copper gnome and. Mini gnome. That should absolutely activate. All the puns ever. Okay. Now in here we have a phoenix down and an earth hammer. There. Objectives met. Best helm in the realm. So does that mean I can go to my adventure log mini ventures claim reward? Five high potions as reward. Okay, so I don't actually have to go back to them. Awesome. Trophy earned a helping hand. <clears throat> and we have a new item because we have five high potions. Here. I need something that targets all kinds of people. First things first, though, I gotta get rid of that goddamn floating eye. <clears throat> Last thing I need to be is berserked again, or confused. So from here, hypnosis inflicts sleep. Let's put this the copper gnome to sleep. <coughs> and we'll attack. We'll say no. We'll attack. We'll set auto battle. And fast forward. Um, how come all this really useful, well-presented information keeps popping into our heads? Oh, that? I guess Anna Crow is the trying to give you some tips. Dude, really? And here I thought I was some kind of super genius coming up with all the answers on my own. I hate to the break it to you, but you will never the be that person. I know. It's so sad. That's pretty much Whoa, it, Mark. Hey, now, come on. You don't have to look <clears throat> that brokenhearted when you say it. So the star is telling me to go over there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, there's a save point here because obviously boss room. But that looks mighty suspicious down there. <coughs> So we'll go to the save point to get all our stuff back. Or we're gonna get some. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's not the good. This is the call of threshold. Mirage is the create them to mark their territory. When you see a threshold, you better watch out because the mirages inside are extremely the powerful. And the worst part, if you cross it and lose a fight the inside, I can't use my powers to rewind time and extricate you. No extrication? Guess we'd better be extra careful then. <laughs> I hate you. Anyway, it sounds like if we're going in, we better go in fully prepared. That's the for sure. And don't forget to save your progress too. Right, I think it's more along the lines of just something Square Enix likes to do with their cutesy characters. Because, I mean, they do it the same thing with the Moogles saying Koopo and the Chocobo saying Quay. <clears throat> Beware the thresholds. Powerful mirages can create their own spheres of influence, known as thresholds. Toma can't rescue Rain and Lon from defeat when inside the enemy threshold. To put it simply, losing a battle in these powerful enemies equals instant game over. <clears throat> Remember to save your game and get prepared for before entering a threshold. Another thing to note, powerful mirages bind themselves to their thresholds, which means that a mirage inside its own threshold cannot be imprisoned. Good to know. However, defeating a mirage will cause its threshold to shatter, so the next time you encounter it, you'll be able you might just might be able to imprison it. Alright, good to know. Customize your shortcuts. I don't care because I don't use that menu. So we'll pop down a save and then go to the alternate route. <clears throat> the only solace I have is imagining the VA saying fuck right after the the and now I'm gonna <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Um, hmm. So, is there something I should be doing here? Okay, maybe I have to come back. It's quite possible I need a special thing with me. Right, so I've already saved. <clears throat> so who wants to make a quick guess at what we're going to be fighting in here? See you, Red. Quite possible, Matrosina. Because I already can tell from looking what we're going to be fighting. <clears throat> That's better. Yeah. A giant water drop. Not quite. So, I'm going to go ahead and guess. We have ice, lightning, and fire, so it's going to be Shiva, Rama, and Ifrit. <clears throat> what the honk? What the honk? I expected some foolhardy adventurer with a terminal case of curiosity. What's this? Called it. I don't know where your other glove is. Look who's back. Ooh, she's adorable. Ah, the half buns. Hail and well met. Wait, hail and well met? That's not our names! 
I think he just means hello. Oh my god, Lon. Oh, and for the record, he happens to be a half wit and a half pint. <laughs> 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 yeah, Storm, you are definitely Rama. You haven't changed a bit. Huh? What's so funny? Oh, you're having a lawn moment. Guess I'll just add this one to the pile. Wait, what pile? There's a pile? Apparently, oh, we've met the three of you before, although we don't remember it. You do not remember us? I don't know where the brush is, baby. Really? No wonder they haven't summoned us. Then our course of action is clear. We must ensure the pecking order is pecking in the right order. If you seek to command the three of us again, then demonstrate your strength now or else be destroyed! Die! Hold now. Why must you two always let the blood rush to your head? Rama uh, lets it rush somewhere what else. What do you mean? Would you just look at them? These are not the Mirage Keepers we knew. Hi. You're right. They do look rather... How do I put it? Put what? Mon does set the bar low. Like Limbo the bar low. Hmm? Ah, oh, I see. See what? Very well. What say we pit them against just one of us to keep things nice and fair? <clears throat> Agreed then. Go on. Choose from among us and choose wisely. Choose for what? Time certainly has not made you any more clever. What we're trying to say is, the two of you are no match for all three of us at once. Which means... Right, I get it. Thanks. Now, let's see. Well, I huh? clearly want to fight Shiva Wait, because I have a bunch what? of fire attacks. <clears throat> I want to be tested by Shiva. <clears throat> Care to play? I'll send chills up your spine and right through your heart with my diamond dust. Got your sexy. She looks so ready to knock us cold. Knock us cold for what? Help me out here. I hope this doesn't traumatize you. Okay. Foxfire, Shiva. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Savvy, you are as well. Don't worry. Um... We'll save Whisperwind. So for now, we'll just attack. So I still only did 142. Sorry, just had to adjust the way I was sitting. Whisper wind. Of course, you're resistant. Items, potion, big stack. Yeah. Oh, we're a little faster than Shiva. Yet. 
she's weakened. Finish her off. Nope. No way. That all you got? Get mocked. Oh, she's also weak to dark. Interesting. No trouble at all. Predictable. <laughs> All the EXP ever. Enough. I have seen my fill for one day. <clears throat> that was fun for what it was. A shame the two of you have so much growing up to do. Quiet, you. I'm the Hulk waiting to happen. So long. We shall meet again. Well, our paths may cross before you know it. Bye-bye for now. No, I want one of you. Tear. <clears throat> huh? What's this? A prismarium, duh. I know it's a prismarium, dummy. You didn't manage to imprison those tough mirages, but it looks the like they give you this prismarium from the same tribe as a consolation prize. Hmm, I wonder what I it could see. be. I guess we made the grade then. Obtain the Bablis Prismarium. Or Bablis. Oh, it's adorable! An adorable ice pixie with a knack for ice magic and a fondness for cooler climbs. Is that what it says? Climbs? Weird. Has n has a has no button nose, and those eyes of hers definitely aren't made of coal. <clears throat> Does anybody want the uh, bubbles? Well, Mark, I'm trying to limit it to, uh, to naming it after the followers or the people who speak up in the chat. Um, but we'll see. Do you want it, Matrosina? If you do, it's all yours, hon. Oh, I'm talking to Twitch, but do you want to say hello? Mm. No? You don't want to say hello right now? Yeah. Sure, she's a cutie. Alright, so name your mirage. Make sure I spelled that right. Looks good. We have Matrosina. <clears throat> Transfiguration, or transfigging, I'm going to call it transfucking one of these times, I know it, is the act of changing into a more powerful mirage or changing back again. A mirage gets to keep all spaces it has unlocked in all of its mirage boards. This means, for example, that a choco chick you transfig into a chocobo yourself will potentially be more powerful than a chocobo you imprison in the wild. A mirage can transfig into any form and size you've unlocked, but there's one catch. You can only do so from the prism case. If you're not anywhere near a gate or a save crystal, you can call Seraphie with a Seraphone to access the case. Just so you know, some mirages have unique abilities that aren't shown between transfigured forms. A perfect example would be Tama's secret weapon. The super fox dimensional Tama beam does not actually exist. 
But wait, uh, wait. But if you if the Tom of Beden did exist, is that what you want? A sidekick with eye lasers? Eye lasers that would eradicate all foes. Eye lasers that would burn her cute little retinas. Eye lasers that would be excruciatingly painful. Shame on you, wishing for that. Let's look into getting Tom of her la 